Let's start with the introduction to Zap. What is Zap? Zap is a security testing framework much like Burp Suite. Zap is a very robust enumeration tool used to test web applications. Now the question is why would not I use Burp Suite? Most people in the InfoSec community do just use Burp Suite. But Zap has a few benefits and feature that Burp Suite doesn't. Number one is automated web application scan. This will automatically, passively, and actively scan a web application, build a site map, and discover vulnerabilities. This is a paid feature in Burp Suite. Web Spidering. You can passively build a website map with spidering. This is a paid feature in Burp, but it is free in Zap, Unthrottled Intruder. You can brute force login pages within Zap as fast as your machine and the web server can handle. This is a paid feature and Burp Suite, which you are getting for free in the Zap. No need to forward individual requests through Burp, but when doing manual attacks, Having to change windows to send a request through the browser and then forward to Burp can be tedious. Zap handles both, and you can just browse the site, and Zap will intercept automatically. This is not a feature in Burp Suite. So now let's compare Burp Suite versus Zap. If you are already familiar with Burp, the keywords translate over like. So we have Site Map in Burp Suite, and we have Site Tree in Zap. We have HTTP history and Burp Suite. Alternatively, we have history and Zap. Similarly, we have scope in Burp Suite and we have context and Zap. We have interceptor, which alternative is break in Zap. We have repeater in Burp Suite and we have request editor in Zap. We have intruder in Burp Suite. Similarly, we have fuzzer in Zap. The spider remains same in Burp Suite as well as in Zap. We have Scanner in the Burp Suite. Similarly, we have Active Scan in Zap. We have BApp Store where you can add extension in the Burp Suite. On the other side, we have Marketplace in Zap where you can download additional add ons to your Zap applications. Now, before moving to the installation part, first let's talk about a disclaimer. Zap is a great tool and I personally prefer over Burp but the document and support for the tool is very less compared to the Burp. Burp has some extension and features that Zap doesn't have. As an example, Zap is unable to perform login timing attacks, but Burp can. Zap can be used as your go-to tool to start with application testing, but it should not be your only tool. Zap is just one of many tools to put under your hacker utility belt. So this was all about the introduction to Zap and the coming videos we will install Zap on our PC and we will do some automated and manual scanning.